Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know about you, but I hate ticks. And I hate seeing them even close to being on me because the number one thing I do not want to get from enjoying myself outside is Lyme disease. Um, so today I'm going to talk about my process for what I do to prevent uh, getting ticks on me um, as well as how I apply this product to my clothes. So one thing I want to know is, unlike what my shirt says, I am not qualified. So do your own research. I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, and I'm not responsible for you being stupid. That's completely on you. All right, guys. Catch us with a break. All right, so as you probably can tell from the thumbnail, you probably already guessed that the product I'm talking about is permethrin. Um, and so this stuff works really well at uh, keeping creepy crawlies away, especially my number one uh, target is ticks. Um, and things overall about permethrin um, that I want to make sure you're aware of. Be careful if you do have cats. Um, this stuff is toxic to cats when wet. When it's dried, it's fine. Uh, permethrin also is, you know, is approved or you know researched to not harm your skin. But you know, of course, that depends on if you have any sensitivities or allergies or anything like that going on. Um, you'll see in the video kind of I, I dip it and make sure it, it dries properly and I make sure I use gloves. Uh, make sure you do that when you're applying it as well. Um, that way you just kind of stay safe. You don't want that stuff to absorb into your skin. It really is made for fabric. Um, it's kind of the same sort of idea behind all those uh, insect shield sort of clothes. Um, those in insect shield clothes last about 70 washes. The home base permethrin you'll see me using um, should last about six washes or so. You know, we all use uh, deep based lotions or deep based sprays for bug spray. Uh, permethrin is like that, but it's just for your clothes. So to make sure that you know uh, you have the best uh, repellent out there um, for ticks, uh, mosquitoes, chiggers, uh, any of those creepy crawlies out there, um, you want to make sure that you um, keep them away from you. So what permethrin does is it, it just kind of attacks the um, I guess neurological or the, the nervous system of uh, the bugs or whatever it is. So the idea is that once you treat your clothes with permethrin, um, you have you know bugs will get on your clothes and, and then pretty much they fall off. So you know ticks for example, they'll fall off because they, they kind of freak out. It attacks their nervous system and they can't you know eventually those those bugs who get in contact with your treated clothes um, will die. All right, so I just have a kind of a, let's see, it's about two gallon bucket because I'm only doing one set of clothes. And so I already set this on a flat surface and now I have to go down to 24 ounces on here. So let's go ahead and have four. Yep, so there we got. But not about. We do have eight ounces of that um, concentrate in there and water. I'll show you. A little cloudy. So I'll have my shirt. Or socks for when I wear, uh, of course, there's a bee around me now. Socks for hiking shoes. One of those carpenter bees, too, <laughs> as we talk about permethrin. Um, and pair of underwear. So I'll go ahead and toss that in there, too. And just some hiking pants that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and have them soak. To start with the socks first. I'll go ahead and let this soak for about mm, 30 minutes or so in a uh, shaded place uh, because one thing about permethrin in these clothes is you actually don't want it to stay in the sun for too long 
um, just the permethrin barrier starts to break down. So you do want to, when I dry it, and I'll come back and show you where and how I dry it, um, I want to make sure that these are in a, a cool spot. All right. From what I remember seeing in both the Sawyer instructions and just from what I've read, it's better to kind of lay them flat and let them dry. I'm not going to lay them out here in the sun. This is just for the uh, video out here. I'm letting it drip naturally and not not doing anything additional to it. I'm not really, you know, squeezing absolutely everything out. Some quick things I forgot to mention. Uh, in terms of the Sawyer product, which is um, Sawyer Permethrin, you can use in your clothes. It's, like I said, 0.5% concentration, which is the mix that I tried to do. Um, so it should last for about six washes is what they say or 42 days, um, depending on use and how many washes you get in there. Um, so that's something to consider as well. The big reason I did it this way, it's a lot cheaper, like I mentioned before. I think the Sawyer product, depending on how big the packaging is, can cost anywhere from 24 to $30. Um, you know, that whole bottle of concentrate cost me $30. So per application, ends up being a lot cheaper. Martin's um, brand is what I got. I'll go ahead and leave the link. Um, something to consider as well is make sure that it's just permethrin. Uh, as well as other ingredients in there. Uh, you'll see when you look at the um, ingredients label, that's what it is, it's 10% permethrin, and then the other 90% is other ingredients. Make sure there's no petroleum-based product. Well, that's kind of it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let all this stuff lay out to dry here the next couple days. Um, and hopefully this was really helpful for you. Um, if so, go ahead and smash that like button below. Um, go ahead and comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.